Hi guys, welcome to Melbourne Mum Blog. Thank you to everyone who has been uh, showing us all their love and support. Uh, and thank you to everyone who have sent us their ideas on what should me and Mikhail and myself just do next for you guys. So that is definitely coming up next, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, so today I'm basically gonna talk about daycare um, and how I did it and how I handled it because Mikhail goes to daycare and I've been getting mums asking me, you know, how did I cope with it? How did he go with daycare? Did he get sick? And you know, how has it changed things for us? So basically, um, Mikhail started daycare uh, when he was the, the, actually 14 months, when Mikhail uh, was um, 13 to 14 months in between. When we came back from Hawaii and I was returning back to work, I uh, decided to start daycare two weeks before I joined work. I will definitely recommend that because it's good to send them a bit earlier before, you know, at least a few weeks before you join work so that they they um, can, get a, can get a hang of it and you can also get a hang of it and you know if your kid will love it or hate it. And that's why I think it's, it's a good way to start up so that even you learn you know about the daycare if he's eating feeding sleeping well your kids are liking it or not so i started sending mikhail to daycare two weeks before i went to work those two weeks were perfect he started you know adjusting to it because mikhail's always been uh, social um, and he makes friends easily and he's been you know he's he's a he's really good with uh, adjusting what we did was when he started off daycare he had his own routine now because i'm such an organized freak uh, myself I like to you know to keep things in the same order I would prefer his his timetable for the day to go exactly how it is so what I did was when we went into his daycare the first thing I inquired about was if the food that they serve is halal which they did um, they provided all the nappies and the wipes and everything. So he was going to a full day daycare, so which was good. During his first day, basically what we did was I made a list on a piece of paper. I gave that to the the room leader in Mikhail's daycare um, and I just told her this is Mikhail's feed time, this is Mikhail's uh, nap time, this is Mikhail's lunch time and another nap times because at that age he was taking about two naps so um, he slowly started adjusting to that um, i gave them um, his dummy and his sleeping bag so the first thing you need to do is get a bag for daycare specifically put in the things that your son or your child needs uh, during the day for themselves it can be their favorite toy that you think you know they will feel more uh, close to home um, have their dummy if they're taking one, have their sleeping bag if you're using one or a blankie that they, you know, have it, have with themselves when they go to nap. Just put that in and after that, you know, just give it to uh, the daycare and they will, um, you know, take it from there and keep doing what you have been doing at home. And so the daycare did the same thing with him. That's why I think he adjusted easily. And so after that, he started loving it. He started making friends with it. He actually got so attached to one of the team leaders um, that he would just keep, you know, like he would, he would be so excited when we would take him to daycare. One thing I remember was being told that, oh, he's going to daycare, so he's gonna fall sick. He will fall sick. Your kid will fall sick. Mikhail still falls sick, you know, even though he's been in daycare for almost 10 months now. Um, but now it has reduced because their immunity is different to when they're home. They can be protected by so many germs by us. But when they are outside, they cannot. They are exposed to everything, all sorts of um, diseases and, f and fevers and God knows what, what, what else is out there. Um, so they will get it from other kids and their surroundings. So you have to be really open-minded towards that and be strong that you just have to take it as you go. You cannot control it. And then of course, uh, just, just keep a track on how they're going. Uh, do you see any changes in their behavior? Are they eating and sleeping well? Are, are they still the same as you know what they used to be before they started going to daycare? Have you started seeing any, uh, any new learning abilities or skills in them? Um, the first thing Mikhail learned was you know, eating by himself, which was amazing. Um, and also, you know, he started 
picking up more words so he would communicate more often with us which was great and he has learned you know sharing and caring of course he doesn't do it all the time because he's a child right now he's a small toddler he he doesn't know that the full meaning of it but he has learned that so he does implement that sharing and caring when he is in daycare or at home so my advice to moms will be just make sure you keep a track of what your son or what what your child is basically doing in daycare how are they responding to things do the same when they come home you know and even if you're like worried like i used to do this personally i used to actually check mikhail when he used to come home just for scratches or any bruises anywhere just to make sure that he is not you know not getting looked after um just so that i can raise that if i'm concerned about it so you can do that make sure when you when your kid comes home you check them everything's okay everything's normal they're behaving normal you know i was an emotional wreck when mikhail was you know going to daycare like all moms we all are um uh because this was the first time that he was going to be away from me after being with me at home for 12 months um this was the first time he's going to he was going to be away from me for an entire day for 8 to 9 hours um the first day i dropped him off i cried and i cried and i cried and it was hard but the next few days i just you know gave myself a pep talk that i can do this it's not hard he's loving it he will love it he will come home being a happy child you know it's all going to be okay and you just have to do this um i was feeling guilty for sending him to daycare yes because i used to think before becoming a mom that you know it's my job to look after my child and not someone else's when actually i had mikhail that's when i was like he has to go to daycare because i want him to grow he's growing with me but i want him to grow socially educationally mentally physically um and i needed my uh, mental sanity as well so for me to get a break from that routine you know monday to friday and it was just constant the same thing changing nappies feeding pooing all of that it was just too much so it was great for me to get that break and that is why um i i'm still sending him to daycare i haven't stopped him because i i think he loves his independence that he has now he's independent he he does things on his own he gets a break from me he needs a break yes your kid does need a break from you at times and when he comes home he's like happy and he so excited to be home and he spends this amazing quality time where it's just me and him or his dad just our family time for the last 3 hours before before he goes to bed and it's it's really good to to see him responding to that time because you know when you're with each other 24/7 you lose that focus your child is mainly distracted by toys and everything else except for you but those 3 hours are our precious hours where we just give him attention and he gives us attention and moving from when your kids uh, when your kid they go to daycare you will see that when they come home they won't be as hungry as they would be normally when they're home because they eat a lot at daycare because they have like morning tea lunch and afternoon tea um and they they are pretty full when they come home so do not be surprised if they're refusing to eat much if they eat even half of what they used to eat it's a good thing they're still eating so yeah you can always keep a close eye on your child just to make sure that things are okay with them and they are loving daycare you can keep asking them um yeah there are some kids who just cry when you take them to daycare or you know or kindergarten or school because they they pretty much do not like being away from home um but it's definitely a great learning skill from them i have seen amazing improvement in mikhail's skills um in his communication skills since he started going to daycare even though now that he does not go full time after 10 months he just goes twice a twice a week now i refuse to take him out of child care because um i think it's good for his upbringing for his growth for his mental and communication and educational skills basically everything so that's why i'm still sending him but it's of course up to the parents how they want everything there's nothing wrong with sending your your kid to daycare there's nothing wrong um that you should feel guilty about it's good for them um we all have to 
you know, do what we have to do as parents. So do not feel guilty. Do not overdo yourself. Do not pressurize yourself with questions and everything. Just take it as you go. Take it slowly because you all are doing an amazing job as a parent. May it be, you know, mom and dad or a single parent, you guys are doing a great job with with sending uh, your, your kids to daycare, school, or just staying home with them. Whatever you're doing, you're doing it perfectly fine. There's nothing much that I can talk about apart from daycare, but these are my tips. So make sure you keep a close eye on them, see what they're doing, how they're feeling, uh, monitor them when they come home, and then keep an eye on their eating habits and drinking habits. And yes, they will come home sick, so be prepared for that. Have lots of Panadol and Nurofen ready in your, in your cupboards and your pantry, because you will be needing that. But be strong. It comes and it goes. It's temporary. Everything will go um, and then there will be time where you'll be like, oh, my kid does not fall sick at all. Or even now if they fall sick, it's just for a day or two and they're fine after that. So yeah, so good luck to all of you who are sending their kids to daycare. Good on you. Who will be sending, you can do this. So let us know what you guys think. Please do like and share if you would want to with any mums to be any mums who will be sending their kids to daycare if this can be helpful to anyone i would be so so happy thank you so much bye